Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's utilize amazing window functions to solve circular dependency issues and inventory management problems. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Inventory in hand is nothing but total inventory minus running total demand. The weekly supply is 700, but the unused inventory from previous week should be added back to get total inventory for next week. It means stock in hand and total inventory is dependent on each other. Let's solve this inventory management problem using our new DAX functions window and offset. This dataset shows the daily demand, where we get supply on first day of each week. I have created a matrix visual, which is showing the demand and supply for every week. First of all, we will create a running total demand using our new window DAX function. Then we'll solve circular dependency problem using combination of window and offset function. As usual, I will calculate some of actual demand, then I will use window function in the second argument. As we explained in our earlier videos that we need to use position parameter type as absolute and relative, so that it will calculate the running total from absolute zero position till the current row of the relation argument. In relation argument, I have used all selected week and days. In order by argument, I will use days in ascending order. Since we need to reset the running total for each week, for that we will use partition by function so that it will calculate running total of demand for all days in each week. Before we start solving the actual issue in it, let's see how this measure looks in our matrix visual. As that you can see, it is able to calculate the running total demand inside each week. Now I will create a temporary inventory in hand measure to show you what is the real issue our today's demo. This temporary measure will calculate the weekly supply minus running total demand. Let's use this measure in our visual and see what the issue in it. This is calculating weekly supply minus running total demand correctly, but the requirement is if there is an used inventory left in previous week that should be added to the next week supply to form a total inventory in hand. Let's create a new measure to calculate total effective inventory for the week. In that, first of all, I will create variable to hold the previous week inventory. Here I will use another new function which we got and that is called offset function. So inside my sum x function, I will use offset function. Position parameter I will use as minus one so that will create a table of one record which will have nothing but the previous week row from this relation argument. Order by function can be used to sort the weeks in ascending order. The second argument of my sum x function is my previously created inventory in hand temporary measure. This measure will iterate through the previous week just to hold the previous week inventory on the context. I will wrap this expression inside a calculate function and will ignore filter on days so that I will only care about the weeks to get the effective previous week inventory. In my return expression, I will check a condition. If there is no unused inventory in previous week, then effective inventory will be 700 or 700 plus previous week in used inventory, where 700 is nothing but the weekly supply. Let's use this total effective inventory measure in our visual and see how it looks. So the total inventory for the week is 700. And since in the second week, we have an used inventory that is being carried forwarded to the third week. Hence in third week, I have total 737. Now before creating our final measure, I will remove this temporary inventory measure from my visual. The last measure name is inventory in hand. In that I will create a variable with the name underscore inventory, which will have total effective inventory minus demand running total. In my return expression, I will validate if this inventory is less than zero than insufficient stocks. Otherwise, I will show the inventory in hand. I can now use this measure in my matrix visual. As that you can see, in first week we have insufficient stocks because total demand is 786, but inventory is 700. This shortage of minus 86 will not be carried forward into the next week, so second week inventory will be 700 itself. In second week we have extra 37 stocks, which will be added to the third week supply, and then the running total will be removed from this effective inventory to calculate stock in hand or insufficient. This way you can use the window functions to do such complex recursive calculations, and you will not get any circular dependency issues. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting solutions in Power BI. Post your feedback and suggestions in comment box.